Okay, guys, guess what? I got two huge, and I mean huge, shipments of my shabby flowers in this week. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to stop hoarding some of them at least, and I'm going to start creating. And since Halloween is right around the corner, and I'm tired of the traditional hair bow. Yes, I said it. Plus, we've already got like 20 Halloween hair bows. I'm going to make a mummy headband. Is this cute? Look at our little mummy. I'm going to show you how to make this very cute uh, mummy inspired hair piece. And it's very simple. You probably have some things around the house that you can use. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, list of supplies that I'm going to be using for this funky headband is shabby flowers. And I've got a purple and black, and I've got a white and black stripe. I've also got one of these little, um, oh, I don't know what they're called. They're just little flowers with the little pearl in the center. This one's purple. I've got a dark purple rosette. I've got a black sequin bow, and you can hear Kennedy in the background. <laughs> I've also got um, this black chiffon bow. Um, of course, I'm going to need my black felt. We're going to glue everything on. And, oh, I've also got tulle. I'm using white tulle. And today I'm also going to be working with some of this Russian um, vel netting. I don't know if you could see, but we're going to use this on top uh, just to give it a little funky flair. So go ahead and get, oh, and I've also got my... Um, my mummy bo bottle cap piece. So go ahead and gather your materials and we will start putting it together. Okay, really quick I'm going to share with you what I did to get the mummy for our headband. I'm taking a black bottle cap. If you don't have black, any color will do. You'll just need a black and mine is a flat. But if you don't have a flat, that is fine. I'm using two googly eyes and I've also got some 1 4th inch white ribbon. And we're going to use these three materials to make the mummy piece for our headband. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your googly eyes, these little guys right here, and you're going to hot glue them right in the center of your black bottle cap. And I went ahead and glued my eyes to the bottle cap. Now we're just ready to add our white ribbon. We're going to take that 1 4 inch ribbon and what I did was I flipped my bottle cap and I'm going to glue my, my 1 4 inch ribbon right here at the bottom. So just add a little bit of glue and stick your ribbon piece right here at the bottom. Just the end of it. You're going to need that long bit of ribbon because we're going to wrap it around our mummy piece. So go ahead and glue that to the back. Okay guys, now we're just going to take our ribbon, this long end right here, and just start wrapping it around the whole bottle cap. Just going to take it and start wrapping from bottom to the top, just like a mummy would look. Now you don't want to go wrap completely over the eyes. You want to leave some where they're showing. So you might want to skip the wrap right here over the eyes and just go to the top. And every so often as you're wrapping, add a little bit of glue on the side so your ribbon sticks. So go ahead and start wrapping. You want it just to look like a mummy. And now my mummy is complete. You see I wrapped the ribbon. And of course you can go, you know, diagonal or sideways. It's totally up to you. Just You want it to look like a mummy. And see where I've glued the back. Now what I'm going to do to the back is I'm going to get a felt piece. And I'm just going to glue right over here so you don't see all the ugly ribbon pieces. Of course that's not necessary because we're going to be gluing this on our headband. But I just do it, well, just because. <laughs> but there is our cute little mummy on a bottle cap. Okay guys, for this tutorial we are going old school. I am going back to the pinwheel tutorial. Um... The one that is, um, we took all the strips and we made a bow with our scraps. That pinwheel, the version 2, I believe. 
that's going to be the base for this bow and I have cut let's see one two three four I think I'll cut another we'll have a five strip bow and these measure about four to four and a half inches long and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take each one pinch the middles just like that and we're going to layer them on top of each other so pinch each one and then put it right on top of another just keep going until you've used all five pieces just be sure you hold that middle and here is our pinwheel once it has been secured in the middle you'll just need to fan it out where it's full now we can move on to the next part and since all of my flower pieces are pre-made um, now we're just going to have to determine where we're going to place everything on your felt piece and I think I've decided not to go for the whole fan look I'm going to cinch down in the middle and we're gonna make it just a little bit more narrow and I'm not going to worry about the middle because I'm going to attach something on top of that. But if you want to, you can go ahead and secure it with a piece of 3 8 inch ribbon. So get your piece of felt. And I'm going to secure a small uh, circle felt right on the back of my um, pinwheel right here. Just sort of give it something flat when I go to glue it down on the uh, bigger piece of felt. For the tool part, I have cut three square pieces of tool Kennedy's trying to talk over me again they measure about four and a half inches long so I just cut three strips and I'm going to put them together secure in the middle and then I'm going to pinch the two together so it makes a full little poofy there I go with that poofy stuff again a poofy piece and I'll probably glue it to the back of my felt piece and it will be the top of our headband. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And as you can see, that's exactly what I did. I glued my little tool piece right on the back of that felt circle. And now you can see it from the top. All right, now we can go ahead and start gluing everything to the felt piece. Like I said, this is going to be the top. I want that narrow. And I'm going to put my shabby flowers right here. The rosette. Let's see, where is that going to go? Right there. And then that's going to go to the side with my mummy. So go ahead and put everything together on your felt piece and then we'll go ahead and cut it out. Okay, and as you can see, we went ahead and glued everything to our felt piece. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to trim around so no excess felt is showing from the front. Now be sure you leave the felt circle on the back so you'll have something to glue it on uh, to the clip with. our piece is complete everything's been glued to the felt the felt has been carefully cut and I've got to add our mummy and I'm going to add our little mummy right here in the center of that bow and you're just going to need to glue right here on the back and press him down and your bow is ready to go on the clip sorry your headband or funky flower clippy thingy majig whatever you want to call this